Hello and welcome back to the studio everyone. Today we got another part in the Harry Potter Hogwarts build. I couldn't finish it out quite yet this week. So in this video we are going to be putting the clasp on and uh, yeah, that's really about it. I got links for the rest of the videos in the cards right here or in the description. Go check them out if you haven't already watched the rest of the series. And let's get right into it. So now we're going to uh, put together the clasps for the robe. So I have my other robe here to kind of demonstrate. We're going to make, we're going to make this bit right here, this part right there. Um, you know, it's the, it's the piece that goes right here that keeps it together. You know, this is the chest. So what I did is I literally just made a little tube of fabric. Um, and then I used these little button thingies that I bought from, uh, from Joann's. They, they come in a pack of two. I have my other ones here somewhere. I can find them. There they are. So they come in a little pack of two like this. Um, and you can see they just have a little, they have a little hole in the back and I literally just hand sew it through. So you can kind of see possibly not very well, but uh, there is, there's basically, it's like a little button and there's a, there's a hole in the back and I literally just hand stitched like 8,000 times going, you know, bringing the needle through the hole and just around and around and around and around and around and around into the black fabric and then through the hole and then, you know, just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going until I felt that it was strong enough on there. I did the same thing, same thing with the other side, except when I was going through the black fabric, I just went through this fabric as well directly behind this button. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this, this little black, uh, loop thingy real quick. And then we'll put our buttons and stuff on. So I'm just going to use a piece of scrap. So I'm, I'm literally just going to cut uh, a chunk you know, like, uh, out of this thing right here, either, either this way or this way. We'll see. Um, and you want to do it, you know, probably like, like an inch and a half, an inch and a half is probably about the right width. You just got to think about, so you're going to, you're going to fold it in half. So say, so, you know, if you take this bit, if you take this bit and fold it in half, and then you're going to do a seam on the on this side and then you have to turn it inside out so that it looks good. So however thick you want your little tube kind of thing to be, that's kind of how I think I'm going to do mine like an inch and a half and then sew the seam as close to the edge as I can, you know, like an eighth of an inch away from the edge and then turn it inside out, which is kind of a pain in the butt. You'll find out, but you'll make it. And then make it, you know, not very long, like you can see. Um, this loop is really, you know, like two inches long about. So you really don't need very much length, you know, maybe like this big, however big you think you want your loop, kind of judge it, you know, yourself. Um, but yeah, so we'll get to it. Probably going to do um, about here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong side of the camera. About there, just go straight down the, the line. They're playing, uh, the Goblet of Fire is on. If I can hear the Yule Ball going around, going on in the other room, I'm kind of disappointed that I'm not watching it right now, but let me know what your guys' favorite Harry Potter bo book or, uh, movie is. I really like, it's really hard for me because I, I really love, uh, the Goblet of Fire, but it's, it's so just depressing because Cedric dies, and I think Cedric is such an awesome uh, character. Uh, so I think this is wide enough. I'm literally going to do a seam, like, right near the edge. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, we're losing it. So I have my little, my little tube. So I'll show you. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fold it in half and sew it. And then we're going to spend a lot of time turning it inside out, because it kind of sucks. So here, like I said, I'm literally... Just going to fold this, uh, this tube in half and then I'm just going to sew a seam like 
straight down about an eighth of an inch away from the edge, from the, you know, the, the edge that is apart. Maybe a little bit closer. It just depends on how thick you want your, your little, uh, your little, whatever, clasp rope, rope thing to be. So yeah, you can you can kind of see. I literally just folded it in half, and then there's a seam right down here. Here, I'm gonna... hello again. Um, yeah, so. I just uh, did that little seam and now we get to turning it inside out to our right side out, whatever. So it's literally, it's, it kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It, it, it's just a really small thing. So you just have to keep, um, you just kind of, you know, get it started. And then, uh, I, I use like a, like a scissors or, uh, or a pencil to just kind of like shove it through. <laughs> you can kind of like get a chunk up there and then start getting it going. So see, you can see now that I, I've started to turn it inside out, but uh, it sucks. So just kind of keep jamming away. That's, I actually made my, uh, my tube a little wider this year this time with uh, with this uh, robe because uh, last time it sucked so bad. Like I, I definitely made it too narrow. So just keep shoving it away until it's all inside out. So I'm almost done uh, flipping my thing inside out. I just need to do a little bit more shoving uh, I'm continuing on with the Harry Potter marathon back there. Um, but yeah, I really like, uh, Goblet of Fire. I like the, the other schools coming in. I think that's really cool. I love that you get to see, you know, some other schools. And, uh, all the cool challenges and stuff like that. The dragons and, you know, and the swimming and. And the part where Neville thinks he kills Harry, you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, but it's really hard because I also really like Half-Blood Prince. I love Professor Slughorn. I think he's hilarious. Like, uh, when he, when, uh, Aragog dies and he's talking to Hagrid and he's like, do you mind if I just, do?" Uh... and, and then like Harry's on Liquid Luck and he's doing the, but, um, I like, uh, uh, I mean, um, What's it called? Order of the Phoenix too, but uh, I think I think I'd have to pick like Goblet of Fire or Half Blood Prince over over those two. But I really like the Deathly Hallows as well. There's like as the series continues, you just learn more and see more of everything. It's it's really cool. I like it a lot. So so it's kind of hard for me to pick. I just I just enjoy spending time in that world in general. So I'm just about pretty happy for just about all of them. So it's really hard for me. So let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments. You know, I, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the movies. Okay, so I did, I finished uh, rolling it out. Literally looks like a long tube. So um, now we are going to kind of mark where we're going to put this on our robe and uh, try and do a little hand sewing. So this is kind of how we're deciding. We're literally just uh, putting it on and kind of deciding where we think it should be. And then I'm going to give him a piece of chuck. You ready? <laughs> Good catch. And then uh, you'll, you can just mark on one side because then we'll, I'll fold it in half so that they're perfectly even. But you kind of just want to pick like the, where's it? like the level this way because uh, then when we actually like have it in our hands, we're gonna, we're gonna use our little tube that we sewed to judge how far apart it needs to be and stuff like that. 
and then we can fold it in half to make sure that they're both in the same exact spot. So now you can see I'm literally, I just kind of lined it up as best as I can. And then uh, you can see that's where the chalk line is on this side. So I'm just going to kind of mark it with my finger and mark it on the same spot over here. And then we will kind of decide how far, how far back it needs to be. So then you're just going to kind of, you literally take this, fold it in half, overlap the two edges, and then kind of decide where you're going to put it. So you, if you put it however far, you kind of measure it over the edge. So however... When there's half the length on this side and half the length on that side, that's kind of where we're going to put it. So then, oop, I dropped a needle. Oh, great. So because we left the bottom of our robe open, we can kind of shimmy it all in there and get it uh, so that there's nothing underneath the spot where we have to sew. You kind of have to be careful because it's starting to get near where the sleeve is and stuff. But if you move everything right you can make sure that there's nothing underneath it so now we're right here you can see this is the line that we whoop, this is the line that we need to sew right there i'll grab my tube and uh we'll fold it in half and we don't need to do much we literally can just go back and forth over it like twice and it'll you know be stuck there pretty good so now that should be pretty solidly attached and then we're going to do some hand sewing still because we have to put the button right there as well so now that we have our little loop attached i'm going to attach the first button over on top of this to cover up this little spot and just to make everything look uniform so i pulled the lining that's directly underneath this over here so that now there's nothing underneath that. And then you can kind of, well, first, I'm going to get one of these out. Where'd it go? So you can see that there's this little, you know, hole. No, no, there's the hole. You can see the hole. And we're literally just going to feed the, the, the thread through this hole and then back through the fabric like 80,000 times basically. So you can take one hand and uh, reach it up to that area from the bottom just so it might make it easier to hold it possibly, you know. So basically what I do is I just kind of put it through this spot Pull it all the way through. And then I tied a knot at the end. So it, it's going to stop right here. And then uh, you take your needle and you push it back up through wherever you feel fit. So there it comes back up again. I think I'm just going to leave my hand out. You pull it through. Get it all the way through and then put it through this guy for the first time. So you just put the needle right through the hole, pull it all the way through, and there. So now you can kind of see where it's going to be placed depending on where you kind of pull it tight. Everything's falling. So if I pull it tight right there, then it'll kind of sit right on top of the spot where it's supposed to be. So you're literally just gonna poke it through, make sure there's nothing underneath it. Just keep, just literally keep poking it through and bringing it back out. I have my hand in the inside and then we can just poke it through again. And then use my inside hand to bring it right back up. And then pull it 
nice and tight. And this guy, when you start pulling it tight, it'll start to pull it to the right area. And you literally just keep putting it through the hole, putting it through the fabric, and just pulling it tight again until you feel like it's it's uh, in there nice and tight. So you can see that mine has got, you know, this little bit, and you can kind of trim that off. Um, the button will cover most of it, and then we'll just trim that off so that you can't see much of it anymore. But yeah, that's kind of the process. You just keep putting it in and putting it through the hole and then pulling it tight again and just keep going and keep going and keep going. So you can kind of see I've gotten it pretty, pretty tight on there now. So you can see I've literally just, you can kind of see from the side, I've just gone through and just wrapped it around like 8,000 times. Not really that many. And then we can just trim off this end back here so that you don't see it. But from from the front, really, you're not going to see it much at all. We're just going to trim off that a little bit and uh, you won't see anything. So now we're literally going to do the exact same thing with this button on the other side. Except uh, it won't have this bit in there. And we're just going to try and make sure to put the button on the same exact spot on the other side. And make sure that it fits nicely with this hole so that you can clasp your robe. So, I've marked out exactly where we're going to put the button. And I have my, my hand sewing needle. And I put a little knot on the end of the thread down here. And uh, we're literally just going to start going for it. You, I kind of make sure that the lining is separated from the black. And then I, I kind of just make a little fold in the thread or in the fabric. And then you can, and then it, you know, puts it, puts it right through easily, comes out one side or goes in one side, comes out the other side. And you can make it go through your button and kind of do it again. Don't make a very, like put it pretty close to the edge of the fold though. Um, just so that it doesn't like make your fabric fold. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And you just keep going through the fabric and through the button and through the fabric and through the button until you think your button's nice and secure on there. So now I've just gone and finished attaching the button. So now we got our button and our little loopy clasp thing and our other button. They're all together and matching on it. Uh, here's the hood line. So they match, you know, right up to each other. Looks good. You can, you know, put it, put it over. And there you have your, you have your robe clasp. So that's all for today guys. In the next video we are going to seal up the bottom and bottom uh, top stitch it and uh, put the patch on and it'll be done. So I'm really hoping that I can squeeze it all into one video. We will see. I'm not that great at that. So we'll find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your viewership means the world to me. I really hope I've inspired you to get out and try and make something, even if it's not this huge complicated robe, even if it's just something small. Really hope that I've inspired you to just get out and try. If you like this build series, be sure to let me know by giving it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to say it's cool or, you know, something like that. All the support is really well. I love it so much. I love to talk to you guys. So, other than that, if you want to, I now have an Instagram. I said in the last video is K2ProductionsYT. I've also changed my handle on Twitter to K2ProductionsYT. So they all now match. So you can reach me on either of those. You can follow and there are some updates on some stuff. I'm trying to post more. You can also share your builds with me on Twitter or on Instagram. You can reach me, ask questions, share your builds. I'd love to see anything you guys make. It all makes me super happy. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching again and sticking with it. If you want to support the channel, I always say it, but definitely share this video with a friend who is just as obsessed with Harry Potter as you guys are. But that is all I have to badger you guys with today. So I will see you guys next time here in the studio. Be safe out there and get out and make something.